My name is Lisa Struve, and this is Alyssa Lynn Struve, and Ronald McDonald House was kind enough to let me stay while she was in her hospital bed at Greenville Memorial, getting well enough to go home. Madeline is the reason that we came to the Ronald McDonald House. She was diagnosed with cancer um, at 14 months old. Jamie was our little miracle baby. They didn't think that I could have kids. You don't have to worry about what the next day is gonna bring. You can solely focus on your kid. My son Isaiah was diagnosed with cerebral palsy and we have been very grateful to the Ronald McDonald family and this establishment um, for giving us this home away from home. We ended up staying here a lot because of her treatment. Um, she did better staying here while we were getting chemo treatments. I definitely gained strength from team members and their their stories, their, their, their praying for me. He is a very friendly boy. He loves to be around people. And being in this environment because it's so community oriented and family oriented and they have the children to play with. We've seen his personality blossom. You never know from day to day what's going to happen. And you never know when they're going to tell you that your child's not going to make it. And when they do tell you that, it's always nice to have someone else to just be able to just lean on and say, I need a hug. Even though I was here alone without my husband dealing with the emotional of this, I always had someone to come home to to talk to. Uh, we've made a lot of friends, a lot of people who actually understand what we're going through, so it's helped us and it's helped him. With her being as little as she was and we were in the hospital, it kind of scared her a little bit, so the Ronald McDonald House made it feel more like home. It's nice to have someone, you know, who you can talk to, who can relate. I can remember coming in late at night after a long day and being in the kitchen with your staff members and just telling them about my day and having somebody to talk to and tell them and show them pictures and show them videos and have them be excited for me and excited for my family. With the Ronald McDonald House, it gave us a place to lay our head down at night and be so close to the hospital that if something was to happen or if we needed just a few minutes of a break that you know, we could come over to the house and watch TV or talk to other families and have that support that you don't get when you're sitting in a hospital room by yourself all day. I think that being able to be so close to the house, from the house to the hospital, was great. It just gave me the sleep I needed to be there for her and to to be able to come home and shower and sleep and and regroup because some days were really really hard. Well, as a family, we can stay together. It's it's set up in such a way that all our needs can be met on a daily basis in a practical way. From the playroom to the laundry area, there are books in the library. There are kitchen facilities. We can cook our own meals just like we would back home. We love being we here. Being the here. people are amazing, the staff is amazing, um, everybody's just real nice, real the understanding. Room, the rooms are very clean and, yeah. you know, spacious. Yeah, it gave her a chance to get outdoors um, because when you're in a hospital, there, there's no place out there really that you can take a kid and let them just play and be a kid. And um, when you come to the house, you have the opportunity of being outside and enjoying a little bit of the fresh air that you can't get at the hospital. All the little everyday stuff that people take for granted I didn't have to worry about. It was like coming home. Without their love and support, I don't think she would have been able to recover as quickly as she did. And I am internally grateful for that. Just keep giving because every time you do, it's, it makes somebody's child a much happier child.